What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Python and uh, Pygame programming tutorial. We're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. We were finally adding images and uh, really nifty, tiny little pictures to our program. And I'm going to keep rolling with that theme. I want to keep rolling with the theme that we're just adding multimedia, making our, our, our code do cool things. And so you know how to have this functionality when you actually go on into the world and make your own video game. Triple A Quiddick five star reviews. <laughs> All right, we want to be able to play a sound in this in this tutorial. So um, the way that we do this is we actually use something called the Pygame Mixer, and that is done with to the Mixer module in in Pygame, or at least the little sub module. You can see in the documentation over here we've got Pygame dot Mixer, and you. It initializes automatically when you run um, pygame.init at the beginning of our code. And you can create a sound file. And that will create a new sound object from a file or a buffer object. Pretty simple. Pretty easy. And um, let's go ahead and do something with that. First of all, we're going to want to find a sound that we can use. So I'm going to go to soundbible.com, which is really nice, actually. It allows you to find some free sounds that are literally free. Some people use uh, Creative Commons attribution, um, licenses, that sort of thing, public domain, anything like that. Um, I want something simple. I'm probably just going to use, like, water. Um, if we have that. <laughs> water. Okay, I, I, tried to, I tried to control F it, and I didn't find it. Massive war with alarm. Missile target tracking. <laughs> Metal gong. <laughs> That's not too bad. Alright, let's use a metal gong. Let's use the metal gong sound. <laughs> I'm going to save it as a wave file. It's important that we save it as a wave file, and um, I'm going to call mine gong. You can see I, I had a few others blop and, and water, but now we're just going to use gong, apparently. <laughs> and that's just fine. Um... Uh, da, 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 da. Let's check out back to our documentation because okay we're over at image and we want to be at sound mixer sound so create a new sound object from a file or buffer object it does have some other functions like play stop fade out you can set the volume get the volume get the length of the, of the sound lots of really good stuff and it, it's good that Python and Pygame has this functionality I wanted to show it to you guys in the documentation so you know how much you can do with this. Obviously, I won't be looking at all of the examples, but maybe later on. Um, it's good to note that the sound can be loaded from an OGG audio file or from an uncompressed WAV file. That's what we're going to use. You saw earlier it was there was available as an MP3, but we downloaded it as a WAV file because typically it's going to use OGG audio files or uncompressed WAV. Okay, let's jump into our code. What we want to do is actually create a new... Uh, attribute or, or kind of property or variable in our in constructor for the for the block and the the object that we're adding. So I'm just going to call mine self.sound. It's kind of like a sound property that this object and this sprite will kind of carry around with it. Whatever. Pygame.mixer.sound, capital S, remember, and we'll use gong.wave. <laughs> All right. Now we created other functions like set position and set image, so now it would be a good idea to um, define a function that would be play sound. And since sound is automatically kind of comes with it, um, we don't need to supply anything. Sound is part of the self object and the block object itself, so we can use self dot sound dot play. If you check it out, the sound dot play. Uh, function does have a bit more options and, and arguments that you can use with it. You can determine whether or not it loops, how long it'll be using for, whether or not it'll fade out within in milliseconds. You also have stop, fade out, set volume, get volume, a ton of options here. Right now we're just going to keep it simple and just play the sound. And it's actually going to happen the moment we create the object. <laughs> let's do, actually let's do it once we draw it on the screen. It mm, doesn't really matter. As long as the sound plays, that's all we care about. A dot block, play sound. You might not be able to hear this, but I certainly can, and goddamn, is it funny. <laughs> Bong. Alright, awesome. 
that's that's the sound and that's exactly how we at least import sounds and uh, and some a bit more multimedia in Pygame. There's a mixer submodule that you can use. You can import as either OGGG audio files, <laughs> gangster, OGGGs, <laughs> or or WAV files, and then you just play the sound with a sound dot play. We kind of associated that with our object. We didn't really have to. Uh, I'm actually not going to keep this function because if a metal gong played every time I ran the program, I'd probably get a little annoyed. So <laughs> this was just for demonstration. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, maybe you can add some nifty sounds to your nifty programs. I'll talk to you later.